Hello there, it's Alana Tucky. I'm back to keep helping you with your first project for Math 133. This time we're going to go over how to find um, these statistics with Excel because you're supposed to do everything with Excel, no calculators allowed. Alright, so it's going to ask us here to find all sorts of things like the mean, the median, the count, the variance, and so on. So I'm going to show you with a data set. Now, I'm not going to show you with this data set because somebody's going to be given 1965. So I made up another data set. I have the heights of various cartoon characters in inches. Exciting, huh? Okay, so let's see here. Let me make it bigger so you can see. All right, now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you're going to be doing this project, you're going to have it so your instructor can see everything that you're doing. So you want to kind of um, make it so that it's obvious and clear what you're doing. So you might want to label it part two or part three, right? What was it? GDP. Let me read out. It said GDP statistics. Okay. GDP statistics. Okay. So then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's how many things were we were told to calculate. Yep. And then so let me mean, median, count, variance. Let me let me type these up. Hold on one second. Okay. Now, in case you're wondering a couple things, I made these pieces bold by just hitting or highlighting up there and hitting Control B or hitting right here. And if you want to make them like a different color or something, you can do that just to make it kind of clearer. You can do the same thing with your data. So you just hit it up here, Control B, and you can make them gray or you can make it yellow or whatever. I mean, if you just want to make it kind of more obvious what's going on. And I made it bigger by doing, you can do that one of two ways, like if it's really small print for you and you can't read very well, you can kind of zoom like that. Um, that's using the slider bar in the bo bottom right corner, see that? So I'm at 143% zoom right now. Or if you just hit control, hold down the control button and scroll with your mouse button, it'll do the same thing. Or you can just make the font bigger. Right now I'm at 10 point font, which is pretty small, so if you wanted to highlight and make it 12 point font, so be it. It's just going to make it so that that width of that bar isn't useful to you anymore, but eh, you know, you might not care. So up to you. You don't have to leave it at 10 point if you don't want to. Okay. Alright, so back to my fake data set. Oops, come back. There they are. Okay, so I'm going to find the mean, the median, the standard deviation, and so on. Oops, you probably want to know how I just did that. Okay, so up here where I can see that standard deviation class width, those words are too long. So if I let my mouse hover between the F and the G, and I double click, right, so it was that double sided arrow again, and then I double click, it makes it wide enough. Alright, so then if you want to make these bigger fonts or whatever, you can. This part of the issue is that I have such a large font size over here. So since I have size 18 font over there, I can use size 18 font over here. Then I'll still have to double click and make it big enough. So that's fine. All right, now how to find the mean? That's equals average parentheses. And then you have to tell it the cells where all your data is. So my cells are B2 to B11, right? So you can either type B2, column B, number 2, to column B number 11, sort of like Battleship, or you can use your mouse and kind of click and here. I let my mouse, I click on the cell B2 and then I keep my mouse button down on the left and I drag down. And then I can see that it's telling me B2 to B11. I can see the box right there is big enough to encompass all my data. Your data set, of course, is much larger than that, so you're going to have to scroll down quite a bit, or you can kind of look at it and say, oh, okay, my bottom one's B11, my top one's B2, so I can just type B2 colon B11. All right, now median is really easy. Equals median col parentheses B2 colon B11, because I know that's where my data is. Count. Count is how many of them there are, which is equals count colon, or parentheses, excuse me, B2 colon B11 in this case. And again, it'll be different um, cells for everything. So it might be B2 to B200 or B2 to B55 or whatever. Now variance. Um, this one you want to be careful with because there's two types of variance. So what you want to think to yourself is, is this data a sample or is this data a population? So I'm going to teach you how to find both. So let me teach you how to find population variance and let me teach you how to find population standard deviation and then I'm going to go over here and teach you how to find the other ones. Sample variance, 
sample standard deviation. And then you'll choose whichever one's appropriate for your day, for your problem. All right, so population variance is equal to VAR now. Okay, so there's these options to choose from. The new Excel has this dot P thing. So you say VAR dot P, B2 colon B, oops, colon B11. Fine. The old, if you're working from an old Excel, like 2000, I want to say Excel 2003, you go VAR P. That's the old system. B2 colon B11. It'll get you the same number, right? All right, and then I don't know if you were seeing it, but sample variance is right there. So you go variance is VAR in the old system, B2 colon B11. Or the new system is VAR dot S. So if you have that option, then choose that one because that's more correct. But honestly, it doesn't make any difference because they're the same thing. Okay, It's just that the old system doesn't have the dot S and the dot P ones available to you. Oops, I don't want this to be so huge. That's ginormous. Okay, same thing is going to happen with standard deviation. So it's equal S, T, D, E, V. And you can see dot P would be the new system for, for population. B2 colon B11. See, it's 9.728. And then the old system is S, T, D, E, V, P. Right there. The one for, for population. Right? And then you'd say, yep, that one B2 colon B11, or whatever your data is. Um, I'll do dot P, B2, colon, B11. And then sample, the S, is equal to STDEV, old system, right there, STDEV, or STDV dot S. They're the same thing. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. Right. Okay, so the old Excel doesn't have the dot S and the dot P available. That's a better system, of course, because it keeps you more on track for what you're doing. All right, now one of these is required um, for your problems, so you'll have to go figure that out. Now the minimum, that's equal to minimum of, oh, min, sorry, min, M-I-N. There's the function, M-I-N, and then again, put in your data, B2, B11, B2, to whatever on your problem. Max is equal to max. Yes, it's really that simple, <laughs> right? Range. Okay, well, the range, remember, is your max minus your min, so you're going to want to do this all at once. So equals, you can do this one of two ways. You can say max B2 colon B11, close your parentheses, minus min B2 to B11, or whatever your data range is. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to take equals, this cell that I just figured out the max in, which is G9, take away this cell, which is where I figured out the min in, which is G8, enter. And there you go. Okay, so that's all of that. All right, and then we want to find the class width. Now, I'm not going to do 20 classes on this one because that's not useful for me, but um, I'm going to say five classes, say, just for the the sake of it, but you can do however many classes is required for your problem. But I'm going to do five because that's more appropriate for this very small data set. So the way to find the class width, if you'll recall from chapter two, is to take your range, which we figured out right here is 34, and divide it by the number of classes you want. Okay, 6.8 is fine, but you have to round up. So I would round up, say, to seven. There we go. All right, we are all good with that. That's how to find everything that you need for part three.